drop my highlighter. Good morning friends, what is up? It's Ash, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys my everyday makeup routine because I've recently started doing my makeup every day just to like help me get motivated and get ready to start the day. And yeah, it just helps me feel a little more confident. So I figured I would just show you guys what I do. It's super simple and I'm honestly not that great at makeup. So I might be doing things wrong, but that's okay. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe, the button is somewhere down below, give this video a like, and follow me on all of my socials, they'll be floating somewhere on the screen. And take a listen to my music because I'm working on some pretty cool stuff coming up real soon. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this makeup routine. So I really only use a handful of products. I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, I love this so much. And then I've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I also really love this product. And then I have the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in the color Granite. And then I use Neutrogena Hydra Boost Illuminator Highlighter. And it's a highlighter sticks, which I really like because it helps me keep more control. And then I just have this Tarte Eyelash Curler. So yeah, I really only do like the accessorizing pieces of makeup because I'm not very insecure about my skin and like any breakouts or anything, so I don't really use foundation or concealer. So the first step is always to moisturize. I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. That's a mouthful, but yeah, I just dab this all over my face. I like to do this at night too before I go to bed because especially since um, it's been pretty cold outside, even though like, it's getting warm out now, but in the winter my skin gets super duper dry, so I've just been using this all over my face and on my neck a little bit. So now that my face is all nice and moisturized, the first thing I do is go in with the highlighter stick. I like to put a little bit on my finger at first and I put it on my eyelids kind of to act as eyeshadow. I have a mirror here, that's why I'm looking over here. But yeah, so I'll be coming back to this real soon, but right now I'm gonna go in with the tattoo liner and just do really simple little wings. I really need to concentrate hard on this one because eyeliner is an art. Nice. And now to do the other side. Okay, it took a little bit, but we got there. Um, so now that my eyeliner is done, I go in with my eyelash curler and you always want to curl your eyelashes before you put on mascara otherwise you might rip off your eyelashes which is really not good so yeah i just give my eyelashes a little curl and then i go in with my mascara okay now i'm going to use the better than sex mascara also just a little disclaimer i know that these products are like low-key kind of expensive um and that's because i got them when I was like a junior in high school and I rarely use makeup, so I figure I should probably use the expensive products more often. But anyways, yeah, so I'm just applying this on my lashes, making them nice and long. Also, another thing I found out is that even though this isn't the waterproof version, it's still pretty waterproof because not gonna lie, I've cried a lot this term and my mascara hasn't budged. Now we just do the bottom lashes. And yeah, now my eyes are done. Now I can put on my glasses so I can actually see. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with my highlighter stick and I'm just gonna highlight all the basic areas like along the sides here and then on my nose, the my cupid's bow and my chin. I personally really love this highlighter stick instead of the powder because the powder just has a lot of fallout and I feel like this one kind of gives off the same effect and it's just so much easier to control, especially for me who's not the best at makeup. But yeah, I just like to like dot it on my, my face instead of like just swiping it because I feel like swiping it will give like too harsh of a glow if that makes sense. And then I just like to 
blend it all out with my finger like so again i could be committing so many crimes against the makeup community right now but um you know it's worked for me so far so i guess i don't really care and usually i have a lot of leftover on my finger so i use that to like dab the tip of my nose my cupid's bow and then my chin i also like to take like the edges of it and then just go down the bridge of my nose like that and then i just blend it so yeah and then last but not least i use the brow gel just to give my brows a little bit more um color and definition because i already have pretty thick brows naturally and they like already kind of follow a shape but not really so that's what this is for just to perfect all the rough edges if you notice the brush is longer on this side than on the other so the first thing i like to do is use the longer side and just kind of like brush everything into place because the longer side won't have as much contact with the color of it so it's kind of just like a way to get all of my eyebrow hairs into the right spots <laughs> yeah i just brush up and sometimes if clumps like that get on my eyebrow i just brush through them and hope for the best sometimes i need to dab it up but you know case by case basis and then i take the shorter part of the brush and i just go in with that just adds a little more definition you know So yeah, that's that. And then last touch is just go in with some lip balm. This is the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear flavor. But yeah, don't wanna get your lips dry. Oh my God, the sun is out. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. It's very, very, very simple. And yeah, it just helps me feel a little bit better for the day. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Maybe this helped you. And if you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!